What's up beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So this video is my top 5 Korean and Chinese dramas. I know that most of people in quarantine watch like Netflix series and movies but for me I watch Korean and Chinese dramas. So if you're interested and you like watching like me dramas so just continue watching the video. So drama number one is The Brightest Star in the Sky. This one is my favorite and it's a Chinese web series drama. It was released in 2019. It is a musical comedy romantic series that features friendship, love, music, and talent. And the most sad thing that it has only one season. I wish that there's another season. I hope. And yeah, this season consists of 44 episodes. The story is about a superstar, he's a singer that was signed in a company because of his money, because his dad is really rich, his family has really big companies among the world, so yeah, he doesn't like this fact of being signed to a company because of his money, no, he wants a company that signed him because of his talent. So his manager is playing a role of helping him to find his type of music, helping him to find his talent and yeah, at the end he will propose to her and the story goes on. And this is the last scene, so I'm so sad, I wish I see the wedding and stuff. So I hope there's a season 2. The second one is The World of My Seventeen. It is a Korean drama that was released in 2020, like 4 months ago. It features comedy, school, friendship, and drama. It has only one season that consists of 12 episodes. Drama number 3 is The Soft Memory. It is a Chinese drama that was released in 2019. It is based on a Korean webtoon that's called The Webtoon of Marang. The genres are friendship, comedy, school, youth, and music. So this story is about a group of five friends, three girls and two boys. They like music and they usually went to conduct like street shows and one day they went to perform on stage finally. And on this day an earthquake happened and one of them died. It was a girl and they were really sad for her. She was really talented in music and they decided to continue their journey for her sake. The best friend of the girl that died was a girl pretending to be a boy because of many stuff that happened, many bad stuff that happened in her past. And after the earthquake, this girl decided to run away because she thought that all of this happened because of her. She didn't want to live in this place anymore. To, she didn't want to hold this bad memory in her mind anymore. So she went away and nobody could find her until after two years she met her friends. Of course her friends will be angry from her because like they thought she died and they were really upset but the problems will be solved at the end and she will be a superstar but quits at the end because of the death of her ex-boyfriend. This series has only one season that consists of 20 episodes. The next one is The Big Boss. It is a Chinese drama that was released in 2017. This one features friendship, youth, school, and love. It has two seasons. Each season consists of 18 episodes, so the total is 36 episodes. Number five and the last one is Rush to the Dead Summer. It is a Chinese drama too that was released in 2017. It is based on a novel that features teen drama and the coming of age. It has only one season consisting of 46 episodes. This was today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed and yeah, don't forget to tell me if you like watching Korean and Chinese dramas and if you have any suggestions, tell me down below in the comments. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more videos, follow me on Instagram, the link is down below. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye!